All right, let's do this uh, Pixie song. Hey, the verse has this riff in it. So let's learn that. We're going to bar the second uh, fret across the top three strings. You can put your finger wherever you want. You can do it down here like this, or you can do, the, do it like this. Whatever feels comfortable. All right, and then uh, with our ring, our middle finger, we're going to uh, play the D, uh, the tip of the D on the B string. All right, and uh, then with our ring finger, we're going to hammer on to this G string to play the riff. That's, that's the rhythm. It's like one, two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and. Now, uh, that uh, riff happens over four uh, bars of music. So, um, we uh once the song gets going it's uh three bars of uh the d that i just showed you and then on the third bar it goes to uh f sharp minor and that's uh just playing those same three strings but uh just only at the second fret and then we're going to hammer on to the G string at the third fret. All right, so it's uh, all right, so it's a uh, three uh, of the D riff and then one of the F then back three of the D riff. And then uh, the, the only time that differs is at the beginning of the song. Because um, the bass plays uh, the, basically what would be the chords. B. Guitar comes in on G. F sharp. So we're going to go to uh, just one. On the, the first one, we're going to go. Go right. Uh, D riff. F sharp riff. And then you go into that pattern of. Uh, you go back to the D. You play three of those. And then one F sharp. Minor. The I think the best part to uh, practice that over is where he's like, huh. Right. to the fella. But the important thing is that that rhythm. It's a uh, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Uh, and what he's doing is he's doing two. Uh, uh, muted uh, strums after the hammer on. So you could have your hand right on the uh, bridge and you can mute. It's kind of like in between uh, picking and strumming. Some of them he's strumming and some of it he's picking. So uh, it's not, he's not playing it exactly the same every time. Like if you listen to the, uh, at about 30 seconds into the song, he starts playing something that's very different. He's just playing. He plays something like that because he's singing at the same time. Uh, but what I'm saying is, you don't, you know, you don't have to worry too much about being uh, super precise as long as you're in the the uh, with the rhythm of the song. 
if you were going to play this by yourself, uh, those bass notes I showed you would be the chords you'd play. sharp minor and then I'm going to the F sharp major because that's kind of what that riff does uh, and then the uh, chorus is a, little, is a little more straightforward the chorus is just a G, G, B minor Just three chords. And then uh, Joey Santiago's doing this uh, unison med. I'm doing that on the B string at uh, fret 15 and the G string at fret 17. I'm bending uh, the G string up until I hit the same as the B, as the B string. things I was playing are B minor. All right. Have fun playing that song. Thanks for that request. Bye.